Unless you're a local network genius, you probably have a bunch of different devices with their own exclusive directories and files. Wouldn't it be nice to get them all seeing each other without exposing all your data to nefarious types of people? I'll admit it, four years ago I posted a horribly insecure, overcomplicated video about Samba. Samba is still a great program that will help you make file servers for days, but this time I'm going to teach you how to set it up without making your entire computer vulnerable. Now I'm inside and on Ubuntu, and I'm headed to the software center to search for Samba. This application is priceless if, say, we're on our Linux box and we need to access a file on our Windows laptop or even other partitions on the same machine. You can also set up a LAN with Mac and most Unix-like distros. It's badass, really. Though I had no problem with Samba in 13.04, some people have, and if you're one of those people, I'll post a link below for a quick fix. Yay, Samba's downloaded and you may be tempted to use the Nautilus Share tab here because it's so damn easy, but I thank you for resisting this urge because it will force chmod777. In other words, you're giving random strangers total permission to do anything they want with your computer. Okay, so forget you Nautilus, we're not going to share with you. And we're just going to launch Samba. Add the Samba share we want, which is going to be our Llama directory. And of course we want it visible and writable. And we'll actually allow access to everyone, but we're going to be pretty specific and you'll see what I mean in a bit. So now to server settings and to security. Authentication mode, we want it to be share. Everything else is good, we want to encrypt passwords. Now as far as having a guest account, we'll need one of these so someone can see our data. And we would usually select nobody in this case, but there's some issues with that and I'll show you. Now I'm displaying the groups and the accounts and see the thing is you can kind of see what level of control they have this way. So uh, Falcon, which is my main account, has been bashed. Uh, bash, you've probably heard of it before, it's what you use in the command line, it's responsible for drawing your little prompt and also kind of dictates how your commands are interpreted. So when you have an account that's securely accessing your files, it's preferable for them not to have any way of logging in, really any control at all. So for some strange reason, nobody has been slash sh, which is also giving it shell, and we don't want that. We want bin slash false. So let's create a new account for Samba. In 13.04, the default account setting is really crap, but there's like three features that you can manipulate. When I go to make my standard non-admin Samba guest account, I pretty much can't manipulate anything about it, and it's terrible. So what we're going to end up doing is actually getting some GNOME tools from previous versions. We want the intensive group customization GUI back. So I just installed that the sudo apt-get install GNOME system tools. And you'll notice when I head over to user again, it's going to show the GNOME section with user and groups. We just added that and that's what we want to use to make sure Samba Guest is as secure as possible. Now you'll see the difference. This is the GNOME user settings. We want to hit advanced settings right away on Samba Guests. And this is a disabled account. We want that. We don't want any control given to anybody, basically, but ourselves. And Shell, by default, has been Bash. Don't want that either. We need Ubuntu to return an unsuccessful login if anybody tries to do that. So bin false is what we want. Despite all that, I'm showing here that you can still log into Samba Guest. So let's change that too. To hide the account from the Ubuntu login screen, we need an ID that's less than a thousand, so I go ahead and do that. Now, of course, we need to manage the groups by saying that Samba Share is part of Samba Guest. Double click, there you go. Now this really isn't important because it's not going to show up on the login screen, but just in case you want to set a random password. It's always helpful if the password's not easy to guess. Okay, so quickly we're going to go to Terminal to see if we did it right. Do exactly what we did before. Check out the group. Samba Guest is in Samba Share. That's wonderful. And now, no more bin bash, no more sh. It's bin false. Going back to Samba, server settings. Now we can say that we have a good, secure guest account. But we still need to check that folder that we want to share and put it in the Samba Share group. 
by going to the properties of the folder like you see. Now, if we went through the share section with the Nautilus bad no-no tab, it would have given the other access full access, and that's bad too. Now everything is consistent and gravy, we're going to check our Windows share with our newly shared folder. We can find it, it sees it, all is well, heading into the llama folder. Let's go ahead and view that file, that's good, we know we can view it, it's adorable. But the one way we can check to make sure all our permissions are correct is we create a new folder, which we can do and it works and everything is happy fun times. Mission accomplished. So you not only set up a server, but you also kept your computer secure by eliminating the weird permission settings that Nautilus and Samba have by default. And it took no time at all. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Tuesday's episode of All Things Open Source where I'm not going to be attacked by buses. Yes, when buses attack. Just like that. Just like that. Oh my god, I picked the worst place ever. Yep. I love Seattle's public transportation. And the wind.